Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Code Vein. I was going to do a series on this, but then I decided I might as well try and live stream it. Let's see if anyone shows up. But this is a game that is anime and Dark Souls had a had a baby. You probably get Code Vein. I haven't played that much of it, so this is going to be a very blind experience. So, ah, uh, still in this weird online not working thing. So I'm just going to go offline. From what I know, it's going to take me about half an hour to make a character, so we'll see how interesting that goes. Oh dear. Loading screens. Can't edit these out. Good morning. Hey, can you hear me? What? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. Let's remember the name. Uh, let's go for my st standard. Eddie Anwen. And can I use the same name for my code name? Yes, I can. Let me use the autofill out this time, then. Oh, I've missed an I. Bloody hell. Nope, put the eye in the wrong place now. <sighs> there we go. Uh, let's play as a lady, as I normally do, as much as people like to judge people who play as females in games. I've got to look at this character for the rest of forever. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's a lot of presets. My god. Uh, okay, let's pick one that's kind of nice and then move and change it. It's something that I like. I'll just keep the default. That would be very boring. <laughs> Start with that one. Yes. Oh god. Okay. Adjust the overall size of your character's physique. Is that just... Oh no, I was going to say, is that just a boob slider? But no, no, it's, it's the whole thing. Let's keep... Let's keep it about there-ish. Again. I mean, they're supposed to be vampires, right? So, traditionally, vampires are quite pale. So, let's try and go with that. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of hair options. Okay, try to do this as quick as... We appear to have a bit of fluff sticking off the side of our head that's not part of the hairdo. Okay, that must be some sort of accessory. Uh, that's nice. I suppose I can always change it later. Like white hair or grayish hair. Like the tips, that is the tips of the hair. Make that black. And then we can change the balance. Aha! He has two hairstyles right now. Am I like, is that some sort of. Ah, it's an accessory. Okay, let's remove. Oh god, there's got to be a quick way of doing this. There we go. That's better. Alright. Shine. Shiny. Face. Ah, uh, kind of face is fine. Whoa, look at all these pupil options. My god, you could totally create just your favourite anime character. Without any trouble whatsoever. Let's go for relatively normal eyes. Highlights? Intensity? Oh, is that how... yeah. Well, that's how you look evil. Let's not do that. Iris colour. I think grey is actually quite good. I like it. Uh, eyebrows? Makeup. Eyelashes. Oh, we need some crazy eyelashes in here. That's all the rage nowadays. Yeah, look at them. Eyeliner colour. Gotta go with the black eyeliner, right? This is an emo's dream. Lipstick? Not like a... There we go. Wait, what's that? Oh, lipstick shine. 
I think it's shiny. Scars other. Oh. We got a beauty spot. Yes, it does. Go with the beauty spot. Face paint? Is this make oh it's makeup, okay. Uh that's fine, it's purple, let's Oh god. Looking more and more emo here. I think uh, just one makeup is fine. Accessories. Okay, so this is where you add hair bits and various other things by the looks of things. Ah, oh, glasses. Yeah, glasses work. We appear to have some sort of budget though, so I guess we can't go crazy. Let's worry about that later. Clothing? That looks like the armor out of... Um... Oh god, what game is it? Monster Hunter. Okay. Well, I think we're in combat, so let's try and pick something that's a little bit combat -y. I'm kind of a sucker for a trench coat, so let's go with that. Colors, let's keep them default. Purifying mask. Uh oh yes, I have the gold mask from the bloody email. Uh let's just keep the default mask. Mask frame. Yeah. Voice. Affirmative. I'm feeling a bit tired. Uh, sorry. That was my mistake. Good five. Okay, I think I think we did that relatively quickly. Let's uh let's go. Yeah, yeah. That's what you look like. I just realized that I'm totally out of frame when it comes to the camera like 99% of the time, so I keep doing this. Let's try and... I could zoom it out, I suppose. I have zoom controls around here somewhere. Yeah, sure it'll be fine. Hello, lady. Flippin' heck, we're massive. We finally meet. Are you clear-headed? Turn this up a little bit more. You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each Revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. That makes sense. Check your blood code. Okay, from what I know of Blood Vein is it's not traditional JRPG, you level up, you put points into where you want to go. You have a blood code which gives you skills that you can then master to transfer to other skills, and it's all a bit weird. It kind of encourages you to play multiple things, multiple codes. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Wants me to equip it. Adrenaline. Give it a try. Uh, hold R2, hold R2, and I guess triangle. Yes, that will do. Be warned. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The Lost. You can drain Icor from the Lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. Okay, so we can lock on. Good. Uses the same lock on button as Dark Souls. Dodges the same button. Thank you for that. Weak attack and strong attack, however, are different. L1 is guard. Same switch weapon. <laughs> That's a big hammer. Okay, let's stick with the sword for now. Yeah, can we backstab? Yes. Oh, we get, we get sweet animations with the backstabs? I get a feeling I'm going to like this game. <laughs> Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code. But you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. 
Ranger, this code excels at providing support and defense buffs with gifts. Hmm. Base mobility crit look changes all of your stats, which I find bizarre as hell. You no longer meet the stat requirements to effectively utilize that one piece of equipment. The hammer. Oh dear. That weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. We can get a bigger description. A mass-produced bayonet provided to Revenants in Operation Queen Slayer. Its gift generator allows for effective long-ranged attacks, making it popular among fighters uncomfortable in a melee. Up to change weapon. Oh. oh, firing your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always sees scan. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. Lock onto an enemy. What's a combo drain? R1 plus X. What is... That one doesn't do anything. So you can hold X. Ow. Oh, you didn't hit me. Uh, oh, back attack. It's not called backstab, it's called back attack. There we go. <laughs> so that counts as an I-core drain as well. Useful. Very comprehensive tutorial for the start of the game. It's not like Dark Souls, where it just throws you in with a broken sword. Good luck! That sums up the Ranger blood code and drain Is there a magician? I like magicians. Let us try <clears throat> now, turn your gaze in. Caster specializes in powerful attack type gifts. It can be used from a distance. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We get a. No. Oh, so it gives us a passive weapon drain up. Stack gives us stamina boost. Gives us health boost. I see. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. I like fairy tales. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Try using bloodshot. Okay, R2 and triangle. You learn quickly. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. This is the missile, right? Whenever a missile, press X and you will rest. So it's basically a bonfire. Or a lamp, if Bloodborne is your preferred ROM software game of choice. Blazing Roar shoots an immense flame at the target. You've discovered a gift's latent potential. Once you become fully proficient with a gift, you will unlock the ability to inherit it. Okay. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why I assume you we have to have equip it, right? Oh. A draw. Oh! However, the fireball! The cost in Icor is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. <laughs> it can be complicated, great. <laughs> Fighting raises your proficiency with any gifts you are equipped. Once you reach maximum proficiency with a gift, you have mastered it and are able to equip it even after changing blood codes. Gifts do, however, have stat requirements. Even gifts you have mastered cannot be used if you do not meet their stat requirements. And I hit him with the big ball of doom. Oh, Christ! Effective. Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own. 
a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Who is Cruz? It hasn't actually explained who she is. <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of Mabinogi. Where you have Nayo, the woman who tells you all the stuff. If anyone's played Mamanogi, am I am I old enough to be one of the few people who's only ever played that game? I think it's still going. Is it still going? I don't want to look this up. Hang on. Mabinogi. Yes, it's on Steam and everything. My God. Thank you, YouTube, for telling me that I am now live on YouTube. My favorite content creator. Oh, hello. Who are you? Welcome back. Girl in white. Hello. How are you feeling? Did you by the fact that I'm lying on my back? Awful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice to know this carries the trope of anime girls not wearing any clothes. What's wrong with my don't face? Worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna be the slow amble, the introductory speed. It's dry, isn't it? Da, 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 da. We can go slowly. Yes, we can go slowly. It's the only speed we have. I am here with you. It seems very bizarre <clears throat> that it lets you pick your clothes and stuff and then forces you to wear I assume that's the blood veil. Over the top of it? We're all right. Oh well. It's like it has its own colour scheme of things. I'm sure later there'll be less obtrusive blood veils. Like, hers is pretty badass. Assuming that is a blood veil, not just part of her. Outfit! It seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. That's a sleeve. It's like a Christmas decoration. So, 
it is you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. Glasses are not on my face. My very big eyes. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. down. Your friend just fell asleep. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. So just assume I've forgotten everything, because I'm totally not a brand new player to this game. To explain everything. Oh, there we go, we got a mask. Now the question is, why do we need a mask? And we're going to assume it has something to do with that. Giant wall of red. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits you. Hmm. Without those things, we residents will join the ranks of the lost in a flash. So be careful. So, what do you want to know? What is this place? According to the folks up there, it's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. More concisely, it's a slave pen. Uh, what's a revenant? <laughs> a human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. A revenant. A zombie? As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. I'm you have to drink blood and you'll become one of the lost. It's ironic. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. What have I forgotten? Like this man's gonna Each know. Each time we die, we lose some part of our memory, be it big or small. It's usually nothing important, and you don't even notice you've forgotten. Well, your case is a little rare, I guess. Uh, what are the lost? Lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back, which makes them like us revenants. What's this mask? The air in this place has something in it that speeds up the bloodthirst. We call it miasma. The mask helps filter it out. Missile purifies the air nearby, but it's been drying up lately, just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask, unless you want to join the lost. Or I'd rather not. Oh, what are blood beads? If we revenants don't drink human blood, we join the lost. But humans are scarce after the great collapse and all. Folks like us don't get blood, but there's something we can use in its place. Blood beads. I don't know why such a lucky thing came along, but they started appearing after the Queen frenzied and was taken down. There are some who believe that there are tears, but it doesn't matter much to us where they come from. Who's the Queen? Not everyone wakes up right away. Some are still asleep. We lose our memories and need human blood to survive. Revenants are imperfect, both as weapons and as creatures. But we were needed to fight against the horrors. 
The Queen was our hope for solving such problems, but... Well, bringing back the dead is already stepping outside the realm of humanity. In the end, she went into a frenzy, and there was a great war involving all revenants. Tell me about Missile. Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. Does that make us the Queen? There's no hope of that now. If activated Missile turned up somewhere, it'd be a big help in exploration. That pretty much covers what I can teach you. I need to talk to everyone else in here. There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. The missile's all dried up and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. There's no way we're gonna tell. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive. My soul died long ago. That's not a good attitude to have. I can stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories. My family. I have nothing left. Hmm, valid point. Dying over and over and over again probably suck. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of a whole lot. What is it? What? What are you doing, friend? What are you doing to that? Whatever the hell that is. Give me a blood bead. Okay, yeah, we gotta leave that man who's slurping. The view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. Well, that's depressing. Let's climb up the ladder. The boar parasite? I that's what's making us revive. I just hope this game isn't crushingly difficult, because otherwise I'm going to make myself look like an idiot. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> All dried up. Just like the others. Yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's. Oh. <laughs> you know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. That was Silver, the big bad guy? Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next. There's a dapper waistcoat that man has on right there. Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Who's the hunter? Hmm. 
you heard him. Move it. Oh. Oh god. Our patches. Are you okay? <laughs> it looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hello, Oliver Collins. What a name. Oh, he's an AI companion. Resting at Missile. When you rest near Missile, your HP and regeneration uses are restored along with your Ica. However, your Ica stock limited, limit will return to normal if it's been increased by gifts. You can also acquire gifts contained in your blood codes by selecting Acquire Inherit Gifts and increase your gift proficiency using items. Lastly, beware that defeated enemies will revive after you rest near Missile. Okay, can I swap to the caster? Because I really, really like the caster. Sure, I can wait. What was the hang on, what was the passive for the fighter? The passive for the fighter was a health boost. Should I carry on to get the health boost and then swap to the cancer? Okay, let's let's try that theory. Let's start as the fighter like it wants us to. Oops, that was triangle. I went to change weapon. Ha ha! Ah, how much I played Axel. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. I a map which is transformation to start. So we can just leave. Interesting. Back attack? Aha! Okay, so backstabs are still one of the most effective ways of dispatching enemies. That's good, that plays right into my playstyle. Old R2. Oh, you have to use gifts. Yeah, I'm fully aware of this game. You put me through a tutorial. Wait, am I on rain? What was that dodge? I got like a, a dash dodge. What the? Is that the fighter's dodge? Wow, okay. To use whatever you can to survive. Is there going to be anything in the crates? That's the question. And did I search everywhere? I am one of those people who obsessively searches areas. I do apologize. Using and upgrading regeneration. HP can be recovered through the use of regeneration. Resting the missile will refill it. The number of regenerations and amount of HP can be increased using regen extension factors and regen activation. Regeneration can be used while exploring. So it's basically my Estus flask. Okay. I like it. Hello? I like the whole dash dodge. Reminds me of Bloodborne. Got quite some distance to it though. Some used gonna take some getting used to. Is there something good in there? A heavy axe. Mass produced by the provisional government. Uh, its thick blade is not made for precision attacks, but delivers heavy slashes. It was designed for slaying lost giants, but the lack of tools in the harsh world of Vane means it is also used to demolish old buildings and clear vegetation. Well, it's gotta be better than a rusty pipe. Oh my god, I can see why you demolish your building. Which way do you think is better? Each piece of equipment has stat requirements and weight. Exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Not meeting the stat requirement greatly decreases your attack power. Equipment can be changed from the main menu screen. Both a main weapon and a sub weapon can be equipped. They can be switched without changing. Hmm, left or right, this way I think. You lose any haze in your possession when you die. This lost haze can be reclaimed by returning to the location where you died, but only the haze that you possessed at the moment of your death can be collected. If you die again before collecting it, the uncollected haze will be lost forever. Oh. Oh, okay, so now I only roll. But if I use the pipe, I dash, so it must be a weight-related problem. Can I see that anywhere in my... Uh, is there a stats screen? Stats. Uh, ah, see, weapon 2, mobility normal. Weapon 1, mobility quick. But the attack difference is insane, so I think I'll survive with just a medium roll. They're all empty? Oh no, there's a dude standing behind it. Look, I can see his face. I, I feel dizzy. Oh. Ha. 
<laughs> Heavy attack is if you can charge it and it... Wow. Seems pretty excessive. Not gonna lie. Okay, what was the other way? Because this seems like the way to go. What was this way? Aha. A dude. Because yeah, pulling off backstab seems relatively easy on these guys. I, there is a parry mechanic. I know that much. But uh, the chances of me actually pulling it off are basically zero. I'm the first person to admit that I am awful at parrying in games like this. Even though I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours in games like Dark Souls and stuff. Can't parry! Just we not how my be. brain works. Move out of the way. It's easier. Focus state. Your focus gauge fills as you get hit or dodge enemy attacks. Once it's full, your stamina will be replenished and you will enter a focused state. You become harder to stagger and can move easily, stack, can more easily stagger enemies. You also gain the ability to knock enemies into the air and perform a drain attack on one. On one triangle when focused. I am going to forget that, but I will try to remember. Oh, oh he's got a shield. Aha! Hello, Drago. How did you get here? Uh oh. Ah. Yeah, the weapons are comically oversized, but it's anime, so I'll let them off. I also play an awful lot of uh, Monster Hunter, and the weapons in that are even bigger. <laughs> Is there something good in there? A lost bayonet. So that's a gun. Oops, triangle is not swap weapon. Brain, please catch up. Help. Hmm. Oh, it's heavy attack is shoot. Okay, let's, let's try it. Having a ranged attack is bound to be useful. Or did I just gonna mess with Sanctuary? Oh yeah, I like can listen to that. Uh, D D D D D. How are you doing? She's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. Will that come in handy? Geisha noodles. Seems useful. That was not a backstab. What is that? It's a slime. Oh, oh, it's a poison slime. Okay. Can I backstab it? Gonna go with you can't backstab a slime. Uh, you never know. Weirder things have happened. Look out above us. Above us? Oh! Good spot. Whoa, a charge attack is a shotgun? Uh you almost got me. Here you go. Huh. See you, Drago. Mapping. During the exploration, when you purify the miasma in the area, you will be able to map your surroundings. You can purify miasma by activating a missile or purifying a rotten missile. Defeat the last that infected with a rotten missile. Let me just purify that then. Ah, that unlocks it on the too? map. Oh, hello. Is there something good in there? Blue hounds gives the drain and brain attacks power differ depending on the blood veil you equip. Blood veils also affect stat scaling and drain ratings. For example, using blazing roar with a blood veil possessing high dark gift efficiency will increase the attack's power. Okay, let's have a let's have a look. Ah, so down here, I don't have a mouse. I went to show with the mouse, but no, don't have a mouse. Okay, so down at the bottom in the middle there, it says gifts, light, and dark. So this is better for light, slightly. Uh, that's got a better dexterity scaling. And slightly higher drain rating, and it is slightly lighter. It increases my defense against crush. 
I think we're better off keeping what we have for now, because we're currently using a dexterity based weapon, so. Do I need to rest at the missile? Not really, but then again, I'm going into a new area anyway, so I may as well. Oh, a black loading screen. That seems annoying. Once more into the unknown. Tutorials. Yeah, I don't need to read a tutorial about tutorials. I've kind of got it, game. Hang on a minute. Hello. Nice landing. <laughs> nice landing. Is there good in there? A queen slay a greatsword. Can I? A mass-produced two-handed sword provided to revenants in Operation Queen Slayer. This blade was designed for use against the queen's body, which makes it more than adequate for slicing through the lost. I've got to try it. It's bloody huge! Oh my god! What's the attack? Why am I using it one-handed? We're at a disadvantage. Oh my! God, this thing is like a truck. Holy crap! I mean, it is slow though. I don't normally play big swords in games like this. Ironically, all of the swords are big, but this is coming up the way we jumped off. Yes, it is. Yeah, normally I play like nimble, fast, agile sc casters, high dex characters, but eh, you never know. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? I don't know, that's so quick. <laughs> <laughs> that could have gone better. Why is his mask steaming? I'm guessing his mask's broken. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be alright. Oh no, I'm going on. solo. <laughs> You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. The girl I know nothing about. Hey, okay, well, there's an item over here. A chemical light. How do I see my inventory? And I can hear movement. Hang on. Let's deal with this guy before I try and find my inventory. L2 to attack a parry attack. Okay, let, let's try it. It's going to go bloody wrong, but... Nope. See, I knew I had way too much time. Oh. Okay, so the window is pretty big. It's not as big as I was hoping, but it's still pretty big. Uh, what was I doing? Ah, oh, I was going into my inventory to see what these items were. What is Ica Concentrate? I keep picking it up. Uh, Ica originally disperses over time, but storing it in a container treated with revenant blood inhibits this reaction, allowing it to be stored. Chemical light. Glows dimly when the solution inside is mixed. Remains lit for a limited time after activation and can be used as a marker. In the past, there were different colours and revenants used them to exchange messages. What the hell? Blood-stained steak. The steak is worn from use and dark with the blood of revenants. Stabbing it into yourself will force your body to disperse. It is not consumed upon use, but will cause you to lose all accumulated haze. Many revenants have accidentally hit their own heart, turning themselves to ash rather than dispersing as intended. Uh, the Needle of Unity. A needle containing the blood of cooperating revenants. During multiplayer, poking yourself with this allows you to disperse and transport yourself to your companion by tracking their blood if you are separated. I, there is multiplayer in this game. Uh, it does intrigue me. Because in Dark Souls, I usually play almost... Nowadays, I play almost solely with other people. I'll try and parry him again. Should we try it? It's going to go wrong. Oh no, I got it. Woo! Okay, so we can either... Oh, it's an item here. Let's get the item. A dagger? I'm assuming that's throwing knives. I keep pressing the touchpad to go to the menu. Uh, classic throwing weapon, useful for grabbing a foe's attention. Ch charging in recklessly will not win fights. True warrior lives to turn the enemy into acting. Yeah, I can agree with that. All right, let's go this way. Oh, that's a big thing. Can we back attack him? Oh, yep. That thing's massive. Oh, luckily its health pool is not great. Can we charge attack it?
Okay. Effective. It was very strange using a big two-handed weapon. This feels perfect for an ambush. Oh, there's an item over here. I'm so happy it highlights items on the map for you. That's a very nice thing. All games need to do that. Having a map in general is nice. Oh dear. Even if it is fogged, at least it tells you where you have been. Well, did not get the backstab off there. Oh well, we got him. I haven't used my, any of my... What's this do? Oh, it's point blank, so... Would have been much more helpful if I was right in front of him. Ow. Eh. Perfect. Hmm, there's an item up here. What could this be? Regen Inducer. Pray tell, is a regen inducer. Is that like a life gen? You'll find I'm going to be drawing a lot of uh, comparisons to Dark Souls. The medicine crafted through Revenant research causes the body to regenerate through the increased boar parasite stimulation. This item is highly valued because it allows regeneration beyond normal limits. I'm assuming that yes, it's a life gen. I just... Oh, see? I knew it. There's a lot of them. No, it's not that button, Brain. It's this button. <laughs> can I remove that off of there and replace it with, like, throwing knives? Why can I hear something coming? What's that noise? Oh, hello. Awake MJ... Zero, 08. I don't know what these are. We keep picking them up. Oops, my stats. Ah. An activator used to awaken dormant abilities in a blood code. Once produced by researchers, this releases energy by purifying the bloodstream and then binding with the body's cells. And Queen's Iron, a special min mineral developed with help from the Queen, it contains a small amount of Queen's blood and sheds a pale light after absorbing revenant or lost blood. Patterns etched with that light can be used to greatly enhance equipment. The only laboratory that could create this material was destroyed in Operation Queenslayer, and the method to manufacture it has been lost. So, it's tight knife. <laughs> Basically. Right, uh, knife. Oh, there's a lot of them. Avanti, foul creature! Oh, are you just going to stand there? No, he's coming over. I just make them all drop. They don't seem that worry that problematic. Ow! You bloody lick me! Ow! <laughs> Blindsided by attacks I've never seen before. <laughs> oh, I love playing new games. Oh, whoa! Hello! There's something very satisfying about big weapons in this game. What's up here? More revenants. You are gun guys though, aren't you? So my limit of I at the bottom there seems to go up every time I backstab somebody. Uh oh, somebody's coming. Quick, chain all the backstabs. <laughs> Hello! I frames! Regen extension factor. That's what we need in order to increase the number of times regeneration could be used. So it's a uh, Estus shard. <laughs> Medicine that permanently increases the number of times regeneration can be used. This factor extracted from the Queen is properly known as CS512. Overuse leads to the loss of self in many cases, so dosing is strictly limited. Yep, yeah, so inject that in there. I'm guessing that... Oh no, it does give us one more right now. Okay, well, dropping off seems like the most logical place to go. Can we do draft attacks? We can do plunging attacks. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so which way is the way that I would have come if I left that this way? I guess it's this way. This is a knight right here. You guys... Ah! He looks mysteriously ready to pounce, just like that guy there.
I mean, he's... is he dead? No. Oh, yes. Yes, he is dead. What about this guy? He looks... Okay, he's dead too. Hmm. Okay, so here's where we would have come out. What's down here? The map makes exploration so much easier. I could use those glow sticks, I suppose, to try and mark stuff, but I don't know if it's necessary. What's this do? Okay, yeah, there's a lot of damage. Whoa, slime, 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 slime. Hmm. Any more slimes on the ceiling I should know about? The one time I don't look up. Stunned vaccine. Oh, the status effects and things. A verifier. Used to return to the last missile. Hmm. A drug that causes temporary dispersal. It is consumed upon use, but allows the user to return to the last missile in memory without losing haze. Properly called KA-32, this medicine's active ingredient is based on a factor extracted from missile that was discovered by the provisional government while developing new revival drugs. So it's a homeward bone. I should probably... Okay, so that doesn't heal as much as I was hoping, but... Maybe I shouldn't be quite so, uh... Yeah, I'll sparse with it. Oh, there's a missile right there. Oh, hello, big boy. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight that guy. Let me activate the missile first, though, because uh, let's not do Dark Souls mistakes. Have we mastered any of our abilities or anything yet? That's something I... How do we see this? Oh, it's got the little... I assume it's come up on the screen and I just haven't noticed. Maybe it's time for us to swap to something else. Maybe after we beat that guy? A local pennant? Is that those little flag things Americans have? Celebrate things? The fact that he has a thing on him makes me think if we kill him, it's the, the red pulsating thing. Makes me think if we kill him, it's going to uncover the map. So let's try to lock onto him, but the lock on range is there we go. Backstab? That was not a backstab. Ow. Ow. Okay, so he's just gonna swing that thing around. Ow. Oh dear. Perfect dodge. Uh oh, he's focused. Okay, so the enemies get focused as well. Could have gone better. I admit that could have gone better. Queen Slayer Thorn. Is that a new. Yes. The blood veil used by forces in Operation Queen Slayer enhances all types of gifts, but is not as robust as desired. Stinger types can be used at range and are well suited for skirmishes, but the complicated drain mechanism meant mass production was not a possibility. How does that change our stats? It gives us higher, higher strength? No, yes. Kind of makes sense if I'm using a strength weapon, right? The weapon I'm using does scale strength, right? That's with strength. Let's try it. Let's try a new blood veil. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a nice little uh, trench coat. Do, do, do. Okay, let's go rest at the missile. So we can acquire and inherit gifts. Blood guard. Temporary creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts blood resistance. Reduces stamina spent while you are focused. Hmm, I think I'm going to swap to the caster. Try this out. Got to acquire Blazing Roar. That was the whole reason I liked the, uh, the caster. Big, dirty, great big fireball. This effect of the dark gifts while you're focused. Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's... Then again, if I swap to the caster, I bet you I can't use this sword anymore, can I? No. Hmm. I kind of want to master the drain up, because I think that's going to be useful for something else. So let's reevaluate. Which has the highest willpower? Ironically, the one I was just wearing. What's the willpower on that? D plus? D uh, do you know what? Let's keep it as it is, and we'll use the rifle. For now... And let's uh, see how this goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
Hello, stranger. Did you? Hey, there. Are you the hunter? Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment too. But I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Don't of worry. Course. I'm not gonna stab you in the back. My asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Hmm. Alright, let's go together. I'm glad to work with you. You are a badass, my friend. Look at that waistcoat. Oh my god. I am a sucker for waistcoats. Hmm. Let's both oh. take it nice and steady. Hmm? What is a good. lost shard? Keep picking them up. Didn't see them in my inventory though. Oh wait, here they are. Uh, a fragment of haze left by dispersed revenants used to acquire a hundred haze. A fragment of haze left by dispersed revenants used to acquire six hundred rays. So they're souls, basically. Oh, and these, I thought that's what these were. But no, Icor, they regenerate your Icor. Okay, that makes a lot more sense to me. I'm going to run back up and go up this way. Sorry, I'm on my way. Hmm. Oh, that is it. That is a really cool down ladder animation. Oh my god, there's a lot of things in here trying to kill me. Nope. Wait, what? Okay, so Blood Veil has a different different thing. Can I Aha! What about this? Oh, that's powerful. Uh, someone just tried to shoot me and missed by like a nanometer. Oh, <laughs> you are not my intended target, friend. God knows how I'm surviving this. Let's go get that gunner. I'm gonna come around the corner and there's gonna be a guy waiting here. No? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Hi, friend. Nope. Another lost band. Let's use it well. We're in good shape. Well worn tool. I don't know what these things are that we keep picking up. Like artifacts or something? But I haven't explored. Take long. I think this is just gonna pull us back into that, yeah, it's gonna pull us back into the bit with the ramp. Okay, so I guess we go up that ladder. Wait, didn't we come down that ladder? No, this ladder here. There we go. I think we can go up here. Hmm. Wanna it's one of down? these blood bead trees. They are very cool looking things. Like, I'd have those on my shelf. Along with all the various other collectibles. Blood Spring. Your blood has special properties that can activate dried up blood spring. Once revived, the blood spring will start producing blood beads again. Those blood beads have the same composition as human blood. Revenants have been using them to quench their blood thirst. Do I gain anything from this? Do I actually get a blood, spe a blood bead? Or no? I'm thinking the answer to that is no. Oh. Items value varies wildly. I don't think I'm going to read all of these. Hmm, I'm guessing we can give them to people? At some point? Ah, miss. Probably rest at it. I have taken some damage, so. I'm going into a new area anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. Can we acquire anything new here? Dark Impulse increases the effect on your focus. May as well.
I should probably level up, shouldn't I? But what do we get when we level up? Just HP and stamina. And attack. Okay. So it doesn't... Hmm. How weird. Hey, you. That's... Uh, forget it. We'll talk later. Restorative offering. Guessing the dark impulse. The passive, yes. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that there just so we can train it. It's strange to see a cave connected to a building. I agree, it is strange to have a cave connected to a building. What do we have here? A Queen Slayer Blade. A mass-produced single-edged sword supplied to soldiers of Queen Operation Queen Slayer, designed to be built as quickly as possible. The Ica conducting is uncovered. Conductor is uncovered, giving it a rough appearance. Its finely honed blade cuts through lost flesh with ease. Ah, so it's a single. Damn, that's fast. Still the bayonet for now. I feel like I'm about to be ambushed. I get this feeling a lot in this game. Getting attacked here would be seriously bad. Yeah, I agree. What do we just lock on to? Oh, he's alive. Okay, what about this guy? No, he's definitely dead. Let's pick this up. I assume as soon as I... Oh, great. Backs up. Haha! <laughs> that thing is really cool. Just saying. And we know this guy's alive because we can lock onto him. These doors are really big. I just want to point that out. And my character's pretty tall. And. The face is where the, the lock is. <laughs> I call concentrate. I call. Chimum can't go up any higher. Yep. There is an item there though, so I'm glad I looked. What are you doing? Hey friend. Catch. <laughs> ah, we mastered the gift Bloodshot, Blazing Roar, and Weapon Drain, so. We can swap. But, oh, hello. Nope! Ow. Ow. Okay, I didn't plan that quite right. Has it gone better? Uh, a thorn of judgment? Can we drop off anywhere? Well, technically we can drop off here. But let's go check out over here first. Uh-oh. Almost got caught by the drop-in slimes. A lost Bardish. What is a Bardish? A pole arm used by revenants who have fallen and joined the lost. Time spent in the miasma has altered its properties. It was made to slay the lost, but later fed on the blood of revenants. Such irony is all too common in the world of Vale. Hmm. Oh wow. Okay, so it's quite slow, but it's long range. Hmm, I mean we could try it for a bit, why not? I don't want to run into any enemies around here. I feel at least one of you guys is gonna get up. No? Oh, item. I would have missed that. Oh. And that's how you get a headache. Alright, so hang on. That we've already been down there. Yeah, okay, so we don't need to drop off, we need to go up here. Kind of glad it leaves those little pips. Little pips on the map where you've been. Back 
on the surface again. Good. That's light from the surface. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm getting Father Gascone flashbacks. It's Oliver. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Cast aside their doubt. I don't get a feeling this is going to be uh, harder than I think. Anticlimactic loading screen. Oh, there we go. Oh! Try and learn his move, sir. Somehow. I love the way the stranger is just rolling around like an idiot. Thanks, AI. Oh! Okay. He's now a the asylum demon. Ow! Almost. Oh! <laughs> Ow! Oh god! That was a hammer straight to the login. Got a lot of icro, I might as well use it. Got you. She's all right. By the way, both of you, all revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. I'll keep watch. Go and see if I hear a voice. I hear a We gotta pick it up, haven't we? There we go. Not back in this guy. What are you? Let go! It'll swallow you up! It's alright. You can do it. Something's happening.
Terry Blue. Please let us keep them just this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must pay a levy of blood beads. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Sorry. Cerberus soldier. Who is Cerberus? Mommy. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. The few humans that remain are under Silver's control. Wandering revenants like us are forced to hunt for blood beads and face death. Even if some revenants must be sacrificed for our survival. One of us makes it. What are these two doing in here? This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. of one of the lost? No. There's no way. Hmm. How oh, interesting. was that it was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it too we both melted into you I can't believe this what a power Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. He's got a gun. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. That seems kind of useless in this day. I suppose if you're shooting humans. I mean, humans do, do exist, apparently. I thought it'd be worth it, though. A Berserker Vestige Core. Features high strength and endurance. Its low eco stock can be offset with heavy armor. Hmm, heavy armor? Do we have armor class? A thing? Jim the Blood Veils, maybe? Weird not knowing anything about the interested in. No, that's not the word. Details. I'll just use the word details of the game. I'll work them out. Ugly, isn't it? The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside. 
giving birth to the society of revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth, always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? That's unusual. Losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. For now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home. I need to go to the toilet. I shall be right back a few seconds. It won't take very long at all. About that. Just noticed that my PS4 sounds like a bloody aircraft, so uh, I do apologise if that's coming across on the microphone. There should be filters and things, but you never know. Okay, so where are we other than the most badass hangout ever? It's like a gothic church. Kind of makes sense, I guess, that people would be uh, looking a bit tired. We can talk again later. Hanging out. Vampires be hanging out in a church? like this. I'll have to say hello to her sometime. Uh, yeah, let's... Hello? It's warm here, isn't it? Everyone wants to know more about me, but I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Eo, and that my place is by Eo. your side. Interesting name. My name... I have no idea what it means. I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter. By my side. I'm not sure. It was simply decided. One does what must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. Hmm. Okay. Who else is there in here? Are they get a car in here. You're an unfamiliar face. Oh, cool. Has Louis stuck his head into another pot of trouble? That's nice hat. Well, it's none of my business, really. Anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking inventory. Try me again later if you still need something. Okay. Oh, whoops. That was a just appearance. I should have read that before pressing X. So that means that I can change what I look like. I can change my hair. Okay, so I can change everything other than my face, basically. So as long as you make a nice face, you're uh, you're pretty good. Why would you? The advanced. Oh, I can turn off the colors and stuff. Why would I ever want to turn off the flappy bits? I turn off the gloves. 
Yeah, that's better. And I'll keep those on. Mm, kinda like the whole trench coat thing. Then again, we already have a trench coat that we wear, so... What's that changing? Is that a leg thing? Ah, it's a... yes, it's a leg thing. What other accessories can we get? Ah, oh, get hats. The hair kind of gets in the way of any hat. That's that's slightly frustrating. I can give her cat ears because that's what vampires need. Cat ears. Give her a necklace, I suppose. Could be kind of badass. Oh, we can wait. We can move the glass. Mm, okay. We can scale them? Okay. Can I... Or defaults. Yep, yeah, let's not mess around with that. I can change the colours though, so let's change that yellow to... Red. Matches the rest of everything, right? Can we change that to a red as well? There we go. Awesome. What else we got in this? Bags? Why would you put that on your arm? I suppose you can move it in the advanced menu. That should be kind of cool. Collar? Uh... Give her a bow. Okay, I should probably get out of this menu, but... The small part of me that can't help it. Oh god, why would you... Especially if that got caught in battle, you'd rip your... Rip your nose off. Uh, fluffy bits? I mean, I do like fluffy bits. Okay, I said I was going to leave this menu and I'm still in it. Small part of me is overly interested in the sheer amount of customization options here. Right, no, let's, let's go. Save. Just change her hair and stuff. I may change her hair and give her a hat at some point. I do like hats. Hats are amazing. The sheer fact that you can change all of that stuff is really cool. Oh god, she looks like she's wearing no clothes now. What's this? Pre-order bonus, the Harbinger. You can claim the pre-order bonus, Blood Code. Harbinger from the underground storage. Oh, I, I did pre-order this game. I I did. I was, I was looking forward to it, so I decided I was going to pre-order it. So I guess there is something around here? Oh, what's that? Aha! The Harbinger boasts high power and unique gifts that only can be used by those with determination. Did I straight up unlock that straight away, or...? I did. Oh wait, Berserker. That's the one we got from Oliver. Guess we'll have a look at those when we're at a bonfire? Not called bonfire, is it? <sighs> Missile. There we go. What else is there? There's got to be more people here. There's like a bar. Who are you? All revenants carry some Louis's friend. Room. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. If Louis Murasame. Me, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. Well, that's I have like my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. Thanks. That neon sign down there is absolutely badass. I need that for my wall. There you are. The revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the provisional government as part of the investigation into the depths. The depths? Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job and... Well, that armor he's wearing, my god, it's huge. Okay, well, I've spoken to everyone. Am I, oh, am I supposed to rest out the missile? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing right now? What's this? Begin? Begin training? No, I don't think we need to do that. Okay. 
Acquire Inherit Gifts. The Berserker. Glow of Madness increases the power of the next attack. It's an active. Dragon Lunge. Dash forward and make a powerful overhead attack. An offensive skill performed with a two-handed sword slash great hammer. Balance up. Increases balance. What is balance? Iron Will. Temporary reduces damage taken by wearing, weaving a barrier into your blood. Royal Heart. Temporarily increases resistance to being staggered there. And precision temporarily makes it easier to stagger enemies with your weapon. So this is kind of more of a two-handed thing. What about the Harbinger? Desperate Burst. Deals massive damage to the area around you, but leaves you on the brink of death. That doesn't seem that useful. That's like self-destruct. Okay, so what... I could probably do with getting stamina boost just as a passive, because that seems incredibly useful. Venom mark guard stability. Reduces stamina consumption from guarding while you are focused. Hmm. Dash forward in mist form. Seems kind of cool. Yeah, so we've mastered fight uh, almost. I suppose focused. Not really all that interested in those. Okay. Level up. Probably gonna regret that decision. Be like, ah, oh, I hope you kept some haze around so you can buy this perfectly useful thing that you can only buy right now. That's usually how it works. The ability to draw strength from experiencing memories and the power to revitalize blood springs, both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. It won't be much. Just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about bloodthirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. Okay. Oh. It's fast traveling me. I can actually lie down. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I can just zoom in. That's good. Uh... Where are we? Okay, there's the bathtub, so there's a storage. Okay, so we want to go back to him, I guess. He'll tell us if we have some sort of superpower, which we kind of already know we do, because the woman at the start of the game told us. I've done what I can to look into your talents, and I've confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. Supposing you are a void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, you'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. Ooh. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium and give my power to you. Well, here goes. That was an interesting noise. Prometheus. Well balanced for combat but fragile. It gifts bolster dodging and parrying. I do like to dodge, I don't like to parry. Did you go visit Morasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we I left off. I think I'll wait to upgrade my equipment, just in case I pick up something else. For now, but I will talk to them anyway. I've got just about anything you could want. Even the lost are valuable customers if they bring the right coin. Let me know if you need anything. Even the lost. Okay. Exchange, give valuables. Oh, okay, so these are stuff that we can give people. Do they have, like, 
Who would want if you them? Want it, I got it. <laughs> it seems like so it said it values wildly depending on who you give it to, so. Maybe I will wait till a little bit later Come in the again soon. game. All revenants carry some seek, don't do anything. Okay, he's still being all dismissive. Oh, I've got everything set up now. What do you need? Uh, talk. But I'll need you to bring the necessary materials if you want to upgrade a weapon. There's a shortage of pretty much everything these days. Still, we're better off than most people. Okay, so what do you sell? You buying something? Whoops. Sorry, skipped it. Cerulean Spear? Oh, I think that's from God Eater. I forget that these are the same people who make God Eater and I got the God Eater bonus stuff. I think that's another one. Uh, like a DLC thingy. Uh, Quit Thorn. Even though I can't use it. Apparently. Don't know why. A Rebel Claw. What is the significance of the green? <clears throat> Umber Hounds, Dark Hounds, they all, they're all different names. Dyed Blue Hounds, Modified. Oh, can you dye your gear? So it's the same thing, but it's a different color. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, I think care, that will do. Let's carry on playing the game, otherwise I'll get lost. Looking at everything in the base. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection. So revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But... Well... Nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us, well, you'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on? You're one of us. Thanks for the apple. <laughs> Yakumo Shinanome. Oh God. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. I could never say that name. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, Every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. 
We think that means there must be a source somewhere. A kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. Okay, sounds good to me. Where's he sending us? <clears throat> Moving from missile to missile. You can now... You can move from one missile to another as long as they are activated. Note this is not enough. It is not enough to have visited an area. The missile must be active or you cannot move to it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well let's, let's dive straight in. Partners, certain allies at the base will accompany you as, as a partner while you explore. They can use gifts to grant buffs before battles as well as heal you with restorative offerings. You can also heal them and remove their status ailments. Each partner has their own unique fighting style. Interesting. Now the question is, should we change to the Ranger or another class in order to make the most of gaining the passive abilities? I think the answer to that is yes, so we will try it. I think we need to go to the Ruined City Underground. Juggernaut Sledgehammer. That's a point. We got that from defeating Oliver, didn't we? Given away, it was thought useless? Oh. They provide a small ray of hope to the thrall who received it. I assume the thrall who received it is Oliver. Damn, these loading times are long. Ooh, residents of the world. Activating missile allows other revenants and humans to enter areas that you've explored. Try returning to a place you visited before, and you just might encounter someone new. Let's change to Ninja. Let's keep our eyes open, all right? And can I acquire any new Ranger gifts right now? Do I want them? No, not really. Okay, so let's just make sure that we have all the passive abilities equipped, like Brain Up, Elf Boost. I don't know if that's going to work in our favor or not. Sonic Arrow? This Sonic Arrow. One Icor. I think I'd rather have magic. I can't use my favorite, which is the Blazing Roar, because we don't have the required willpower stats. So I guess we'll be stuck with this. Restorative offering. Spend your own HP and restore the HP of companions. That doesn't seem that useful in an... When we're fighting with AI, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. So, who who is this man here? Oh, you're exploring this area too. Hello, Shang. I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the depths. I'll be around here for a while. Map of the depths. Let me know. Depths is that thing that uh, the big guy with the nice armor was talking about. As you travel around, you might find fragments of a past civilization, materials from the old world. I collect stuff like that. A lot of rare things turn up in the depths. Even in the depths nearby, the lost are too powerful. So I can't dig around. So if you're headed there. I'd like you to look around for any rare materials. Do that for you, friend. Remember to look at the map I gave you if you need to double check the location. Greeting. So we can acquire or trade valuables. World, I can give you valuables in exchange. We have one of the cog, and I, oh, we can buy stuff. Huh. Okay, so we can come here to buy bits. Come back if you need anything. Bringing maps of the depths to Davis, that's his name, a home base, allows you to explore different parts of the depths. The enemies are frightening and the exploration is tough, but haze and upgrade materials can be easily acquired. Okay, so they're kind of like the 
dungeons in Bloodborne or the Labyrinths or whatever the hell they were called. Wait, is this where we got kicked down? It is. Okay, so that's like a shortcut down to that area. I should rest at the missile, really, because, um, annoyingly, I equipped the passive ability to increase my health, which has increased my health, uh, and hasn't actually given me the health. What abilities do we have? So we have this. That's cool. I like that. Like a phase shift. This way should lead to the old city. Okay. Oh, no, this is the way to go. I thought this was like a side passage, but no, it is the way to go. Maybe by the length of these corridors, it makes me think that this world is actually one big world, rather like the original Dark Souls, rather than just loads of instanced bits and pieces staggered around, which is kind of cool. Because this corridor is very long, and not much is happening. <laughs> it's got like the really long ladders in uh, Dark Souls. This way. This way. If that arrow is meant to convey, uh, convey the act of moving. This way. Are you ready? Like, actually going distances. Ah, it's a missile. Or a cutscene. That noise. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> Expectations exceeded. That settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. There are more blood springs ahead, but the miasma is blocking the way forward. Do you think you could clear it for us again? Yes. Thank you. We know where two springs are thanks to past expeditions. Let's go have a look at them. The territory up ahead is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself. That's nice and open. Communal. Somewhere more open. Hmm. Uh, communal gifts are gifts that acquire the cooperation of a partner in exchange for the great power they grant. They exact a price from their, their users when active and consume large amounts of ichor. The price and effects of communal gifts vary by partner. We don't. Oh, we do. This. Reckless Abaddon. Increases attack and alters your evasive movements at the cost of damage reduction. Plus 20 ichor? Jesus. I can't even cast it. I guess I'd have to. Faded comics. I guess I'd have to bolster my my Ica up through backstabs and parries and stuff, and then use it. Or I could be a caster type and have a higher pool of Ica. Really? How do you not like sunsets, you weirdo? Oh God, he's Captain Emo over here. Queen Iron. We need that to upgrade our equipment. At some point, I will upgrade my equipment, but... Hello? <clears throat> what is this? It's a vestige. Prometheus vestige, part A. I didn't look at the Prometheus, did I? That's what he gave us. Hmm. Oh well, I'll worry about it when I have my next missile. Ow. Okay, we pulled both of them at the same time, even though I tried to not to. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. More daggers. Okay. Oh, hello. Thanks to the drain up, we get a lot of Ica back. 
from just attacking, so I'm going to be a little bit liberal with the old use of the powers, I think. It's going to be a nightmare to try and uncover everything, or try and find everything, because it's all little offshoots and... what was that? Oh, hello. Oh, he throws stuff at me. Wait, what? Now I'm... Why am I now doing this? Okay, that, that's very strange. Sunset Sword. That's a new sword. A warped Queen Slayer blade that has been corroded by miasma. Even inorganic matter is not immune to the Queen's corruption, which has tarnished this weapon's black gleam and altered its properties. However, while there are none who wield it without hesitation, its effectiveness cannot be disputed. I think I'll stick to my bayonet. There's something about having a gun. Oh dear. Ow. <clears throat> A fancy balloon. Oh, nice. Okay, he's coming. Oh, somebody else. It's nice to know that they've managed to maintain the, the same effect as Dark Souls of enemies with shields being a massive pain in the ass. You. Ah! You missed! We have mastered the gift Shifting Hollow, and we've mastered the gift Stamina Boost. Wonderful, which is what I was interested in getting for another class. They're kind of just good though. Oh, hello! Ow. God damn it. A parking garage? Ew! A very posh way of saying. I don't know they say like high rise or something, don't they? Uh, to care Obi Wan Kenobi, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, he's got a shield. He's getting up. Okay. Is it going okay? Barricades. I've missed something. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Okay, so we can't go up there. Looks like we're going through here. Damn it. Not my finest moment. I get for constantly trying to fish for backstabs. Did you pick up something we can use? Let's heal, shall we? Walking around with half health the entire time. I can hear footsteps. Bone well, steady? Something could leap out from anywhere. <sighs> yep. Can we backstab it? I press dodge, damn it. Oh, okay, I didn't dodge that one. I smacked in the face. There we go. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. If it did that. Ooh. We're fine. <laughs> okay, down here, I guess. 
There's a ladder. What was that? I heard the noise of one of those revenant things. The vestiges. Hey, what is it? You okay? Yo, Louie. You smell that? Yeah. Human blood. An escapee. Now, where did she run off to? Huh? Self-important, Revenant. <laughs> hey, chumps! What the hell are you doing here? None of your business. Oh, really? Then tell me this. Why would scum like you have the sweet stink of a human on you? The girl belongs to us. Put your paws on our property and your ash. That clear? <sighs> Fresh blood is some powerful stuff. You hanging in there? So, what's the plan now? We know it's just a matter of time until they find that missing human. You know the plan. Hell yeah. Let's hope she hasn't been devoured by horrors yet. Okay, so are we going down the ladder? Let's rest the missile first, because I took some stupid damage that I'm not proud of. What's down there? Ah, let's also have a look at Prometheus. Phantom Assault. We can use that with a one-handed sword or a polearm. Vanish like mist, then do a jump slash. An offensive skill performed with one-handed sword, halberd, or bayonet. Oh, we can do it with a bayonet as well. Let's see that at the end. Uh, Firestorm. Choose a series of flaming projectiles that stagger an enemy. Blade Dance. Temporarily increases attack power each time you damage an enemy with your weapon. And then these are... Ah, acquired requisition. You acquired Prometheus Vestige 1. So we need to get the vestiges that are dotted around in order to actually unlock these. But, for the sake of this, I think... Well, now we've mastered the stamina up, I think I am going to swap. Should I be Prometheus? I mean... It gives me a bonus to everything. Oh, that gives me higher willpower. C+. It's better in every single way. Other than slightly less HP, but that might be because of the passive effects. Okay, well, let's be Prometheus for now. Uh, let's make sure we have the, the health, stamina, drain, and that. I'm guessing we can't equip... The Blazing Roar? No, but I will equip the Bloodshot. And... Anything else? Should I have Shifting Hollow? Why not? Okay, so that gives us an attack. A ranged attack. Dodge and Restorative Offering. That One day I'll change to something more useful. Okay, and I need to rest at the missile in order to restore myself. Should I level up? I guess so. Level up to nine. May as well. Okay, what's down here first? I do very much like the bayonet, but I don't know if I'll stick with it. The door. It does not open from this side. Ah, the trope. The Dark Souls trope. It does not open from this side. That means it's a shortcut. A shortcut from somewhere else. So down the ladder we go. Government built ladder. I'm happy it's here for us. Government built ladder. And if this, was, if this was England, I would not be happy. That was the... I just assume it was going to fall off the wall. Oh, crap. Wow. Bloody hell, Luis. You are uh, suddenly a lot more powerful than I anticipated. How does this work? Okay, so it has more range to it? 
Oh, we've lost our, like, shift dodge. We're back to the roll dodge now. That's not all that bad. I don't know. Kind of reminds me more of Dark Souls when I do the whole roll dodge. The, uh, the gliding dodge? A little bit too, uh, too far for me. Okay, so this is a nightmare to navigate again, I fear. Oh no, this is a good straight line so far. Do not trust all of these dead bodies. Every time the camera does that, it's me trying to lock on, by the way. Right, yes, yeah, see? I can't attack down. That's kind of irritating. Can I? Can I? There we go. Damn, this thing's a lot more powerful than I realized. I guess I should be switching weapons. That's not a back attack. Damn cameras fighting against me this entire time. That was well hidden. It was in a box. Oh, hello. Wait, I can press R1 to do weird attacks? Huh. Okay, so R1 is like a different set of attacks? I had no idea. Well, that increases the usability of these weapons by quite a lot. Oh, hello. Well, they've all gone that way, so let's go this way. I hope it's a dead end. The trail of blood. The scent of blood is used to lure out the lost. There is a high likelihood that you will become surrounded, but special rewards are prepared for those who can survive the onslaught and defeat every last one of them. Okay. What trail of blood? What? There's a vestige there. Ow. Missed. Kill the dog. Dogs are my nightmare in games like this. Eh. Okay. Oh, more of them. Sweet. More of them. Okay, there's, there's going to be a lot of them. Oh, that's a dog. Wow, how many is there going to be? Hmm. Always one more, apparently. Okay, so we got a, content a condensed loss shard. Small. And all the loot drops. And whatever's in that chest. A hunter? Kevin? Who's Kevin? Excels at ranged combat. Features gifts that support ranged attacks with the bayonet. Okay. It's open. A Bardish plus one. Okay, well, considering we're using one of those. Is it a lost body? No, it's just a standard one. A long pole arm mass produced by the provisional government. The design of the head means it is effective when swung with enough force. Provisional government weapons are built with civilian defense in mind, so while they appear plain and use common materials, they are perfectly capable of destroying the lost. So it's just like a cleaner. It's a cleaner version of the last one. I think it has the same moveset. That was not R1, that was R2. Hmm. Is it heavier? It appears to be working slightly, it feels different. Yes, it does have different stats. And it is heavier. It has a C plus scaling in strength, so yeah, it's probably better. Uh hi guys. Oh. 
Almost got me. Light, useful. Which way do we reckon is the right way? Mm, let's go this way. Oh, dogs. At least I got a free plus one weapon. Oh, what the hell are these demon monkeys? They are actually demon monkeys. They like heavy light combos. I think there are. <laughs> I just haven't used any of them. Something we can use? Well, this looks fun, doesn't it? What's down here? I have to keep in mind that there is the other way to go. I'll try not to forget. Why do I feel he's going to make people get up? He did! Great! Oof. Okay. I will admit, that hurt slightly. Yes, it is below the parking garage. That mean... Oh, there's the door. Always happy to uncover the map. Please tell me it's for the bit that... Oh, hello! If this is where I think it is, we can open this. And then there's a missile right here that I will take the liberty of using. Even though it will respawn everything, it's not the end of the world. This is just what we need. I may even be able to level up. Down we go. I won't take long. Remember, there's a bloody vestige there. Let's go get the vestige. Oh, hello. Look at that. This is. I have not used the this for a very long time. Oh, that's got some range on it. My God. Combat music is so loud. I get a feeling I may not be able to be able to hear what I'm saying while the combat music is playing. <laughs> oh well. None of my moderators are online, so I have no idea. That's quite valuable. Let's use it well. Right. So the. Vestige is around here. Uh, backstab. That's not a backstab. That's also not a backstab. Ow. Okay. 
Oh. Okay, so my res restorative stuff is getting weaker and weaker because I'm leveling up. My health pool is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. This might not have been the smartest idea I've ever had. Prometheus Vestige. Okay, so it's another Vestige for Prometheus. That's good. I mean, that's currently what we're using, so... Sorry. I'm on my way. Okay, so... This doesn't look bloody horrendous, does it? Another vestige over there. Oh, hello. What do we have here? A Zweihander plus one. I can use it. Oh my god. A long two-handed blade, mass-produced by the provisional government, designed for slaying larger lost specimens. It is highly durable and provides its bearer with a great deal of protection. Feedback from Operation Queenslayer led to technological upgrades such as single unit, such as a single unit internally mounted echo conductor. I'm just curious to see what it looks like. Oh my Christ! What the hell? Well, it's big, I'll give it that. For some reason, I feel my gun might be more Oh god, look at them all. Uh Okay. I don't want to run into any enemies around here. That's Come on, Louis, let's pull him let's pull that bastard down here. It's not, still not a great way to fight them. Really? I was going to say, is an aggro zone so small that... Ow. Oh my god, that's the same laugh as the... Um... Ow. What do they call the fat ladies out of Dark Souls 2? Evangelists. Well, that was fun. Could have gone better. Uh, right, so now we've got a bunch of shooty guys. Used a lot of healing. Can you still go on? I think I've been well and truly flanked, my friend. I really hope he finished off the one behind me. Yes, he did. Good. Let's pick up this vestige. I wonder what it is. Probably Prometheus, I imagine. I'll have to work to keep Hunter vestige, down. part I'll B. Good care of that. So, the staircase is that side. What is this side? The way is narrow. Stay cautious. Oh, great! Carelessness will get you killed here. That was not the right button. Oh my god. I hope Louie's doing all the hard lifting here. Oh my god, these not great backstabs are going to get me killed, I swear. There we go. Dodge. 
I don't have any way to heal, do I? Hmm, because I didn't equip the regen inducers on my bar. Oops. Ah, that's alright. Louie got it. The best AI companion ever. Let's swap those over for those. <laughs> oh good, my prediction was correct. They are like life gems. But you can only carry three, so they're not ridiculously overpowered like you'd expect. Two guys? This shouldn't be too bad. Oh, it's a staircase. We're coming out from another direction. Now oh, he hit me. He hit me, damn it! Got something we can use? Sunset, Albert. Hello. A warped Queen Slayer, Albert, that has been corroded by miasma. Even inorganic matter. Blah blah blah. It's the same. Yep, it's the same as the Sunset Sword. Please no. Night claw, night claw plus one. Now that sounds fun. Oh dear. I am not well equipped for this. Just saying. Fight Louis. Fight Louis. He wants to fight you. Look, he's fighting you. I'm running up. Ah! Nope. See ya. There we go, yeah, fight him. He actually won. No, 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 no. Here. Ah! Ah! See? What the hell? That did not look normal. I'm guessing that was his uh, launch drain ability thing that they have going. Oh, Nightclaw, we picked, I, we picked it up. An ogre-type blood veil. Traditional style for revenants. Strain mechanism is very efficient, increasing the amount of ichor gained from attacks. This model excels in both form and function and is highly prized due to its limited production run. What is that compared to what I have? It gives me more dexterity, which increases the attack of my drain attack considerably. My resistances are a little bit buggered for it, but I think it's better in every way, so... Oh, that is cool. Oh, I like that out... That, that's a badass blood veil right there. I'm guessing... I did kind of assume there was going to be some that didn't quite cover up your entire character, and that's kind of one of them, so... On my way. Not sure if it's a good thing or not. Kind of hoping this comes up by a missile, or I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, bloody hell. No, that's a frag grenade. What? All well materials and anti venom. I ain't seeing no missile. Stay alert. This looks like a whole new area. Still, loads of stuff back there that I haven't encountered yet. But I guess we'll carry on this way. Ah! Missile. Oh. We're going to be resting at this right now. Or to replace items? Okay. Uh, should I level up? Should I try and unlock some more abilities, maybe, actually? Ooh, we unlocked the Hunter, didn't we? What is the Hunter? Ranged impact temporarily increases the attack of shots fired from weapons. Active IFF. Enemies within a certain range will appear on your radar. Binding Mark temporarily applies a slow effect to your current weapon, and Flame Spike fires a projectile of burning flame at your target, and all of these are hidden underneath. Uh, the things. The name has completely escaped me. We have loads of those. I assume we give those to the Lady in White, Io. Kind of makes sense in my brain, but 
I'm sure we'll be sent back there at some point, so we'll do it then. I do quite like the fact that uh, that missile uncovered a tiny, tiny part of this area, and that's it. Come over here, friend. Ow! Bloody bastard. I always forget they can throw things. Oh. Oh, what's the... Oh, it's a claw. Sunset Sword. That's quite valuable. Let's use it well. You just thought he'd come up with something else to say at this point, wouldn't you? It's quite valuable. Oh, well, this, this has boss fight written all over it. Uh, I'm going to say, please give me the backstab. I'd be very upset if I don't get it. Woo! Ow. Ow. Fine. That was the wrong thing. Wait, that's Prometheus Vestige Part B. Haha, <laughs> it's another piece of the Prometheus. Right now, I have taken a beating, but yeah, that looks like a boss. That looks like a boss fight so hard right now. Should I just go in there and see what happens? Let's just go in there and see what happens. If I die, I die. It's not the end of the world. Ah, uh, screw it. Okay. Definitely has boss fight arena run all over it. <laughs> Let go of me. It's the human. We lost the race. Well, strength succeeds where speed fails. Wait. This place is... What's that? <laughs> Hurry it up, damn wretch! Without your blood, we'll all suffer! Or didn't you think about that when you ran off? Oh! Okay. Take him somewhere safe. You want me for this. Wait, we're protecting the jackass? I suppose we're supposed to be the good guys, right? Wow, this looks like it's gonna be fun. Don't hold anything back. The butterfly of delirium. Ow. Oh, it does poison. And I don't have poison stuff equipped. At least I assume that's poison. Uh, let's get closer. Because if I stand away for a while. Ow. So she hits very hard. I dodged that? What? Why do I feel like she's gonna explode? Oh no, she didn't. I feel like I don't want to get hit by that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oof. Okay, I've been poisoned and knocked on my ass. Oh god. I wish I had any venoms equipped right now. Oh, I'm sure this will be fine. One of these is anti venom. Yeah, we have no health, but don't worry, it'll be fine. Ow. Okay. Oh, he just revived me. Okay, I should be dead. I came into this fight ill-equipped, ill-prepared. I think I just died. Oh, Okay, so, I need any venoms. That's gonna be fun. I'm glad your heart's okay. I only have one. So, can we buy more? I have no Ichor, do I? Because I... not Ichor. The one that gives you... monies. <sighs> Haze! That's the one I'm after. I almost called them souls. But I guess I can use some of the consumables. Should have swapped with a gun, in hindsight. The gun probably would have worked out a lot better, because it would have had a ranged attack element to it. What's that horrible noise? Okay. Exchange with friends. You can socialize with your allies and ins allies? <laughs> allies inside the home base. Talking to them or giving them valuables as presents will deepen your relationships, allowing you to trade with them as well as occasionally receiving presents. Presents you received can be checked from the missile. Okay. So, how many of the usable souls do we have? I assume it's quite a lot. How many do these give me? A hundred. How much is a anti-venom? So, don't get the wrong idea. Oops. You're one of my best customers, and I want you to keep coming back. I think she just... I consider this an... Offered to give me something? Yeah, she gave me a blood code, I think. Did you buy the third, third and the squitch? There it is. Oh, she probably told to everyone to see if I can get their blood clothes. Allows for safe exploration with its balanced stats and gifts related to stamina and haze. Stamina and haze? Hmm, strange combination. Hey, what's up? The lost are what's left of Re Turn them to ash and they'll just keep popping back up, mindlessly hunting blood. Nothing human is left. Whoops. If you're fighting them, show no mercy. Keep at them no matter how many times it takes. If you don't, you'll find yourself joining them. See you around. Okay, so he wouldn't give me anything. Right, so go go. I've got a whole new line of stock in, thanks to my Herculean efforts. How much but is ninety venom? You've made my job a whole lot easier. Five if items. You want it, I got it. Anti venom. Seven hundred. Come again soon. Wait, can I just sell the? Got something to sell? These. To her. There we go. I could just use this. That gives me 3,000 haze. Right, so now if I use that to buy as many antivenoms as humanly possible. Plus four. Come again soon. Right. What are her abilities, I wonder? Let's have a quick look before we dash back to do the boss. Mercury. 
Sprinter. Reduced stamina drain by dashing. Hmm, that seems useful. Venom resistance. Ah, oh, god, that would have been useful. Uh, venom removal. Cures you and your partner of venom. Raijin's Veil. Temporary creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts lightning resistance. Okay, so this is basically some... Oh, no, lightning weapon. Adds lightning damage to your weapon. It's like a... A passive sort of cleric -y sort of character. Slow removal, reverence hunger, maintained focus. Reduces the rate in which the focus gauge is consumed over time while you're focused. That might be one worth upgrading just to get some of the passive effects. Right, let's try this again. I feel like I'm missing things that boost my revival, restoral stuff. Restoral, not revival. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Any minute now. Okay. I probably should have upgraded my weapon or mantle to try and increase my chances of beating this boss, but for now, I think I'm just going to try it straight. Should I just sprint to the boss? Does it put up a fog door, or will I be chased? Well, I'm just going to kill everything. For the sake of uh, not wanting to have a million revenants chase me into the flipping... Oh, the last, I should say. Off to a flying start. Ow! Oh my god, look at my ass kick. Let's not die to- that's a, not the right thing at all. There goes one of the anti-venoms. Let's just, um... Let's try that again. There's a ladder there. I hear. How's that going? Oh. I won't take long. That statue. It's a statue. Yeah, Kevin still a boy who had been in we'll take good care of that. Prometheus vestige gate and a ladder. Hmm. That statue seems really out of place. I wonder if it's going to be important. Sorry, I'm on my way. Just realised there's actually an NPC quest around here somewhere because you can see the little exclamation mark in the blue dude. Right, let's try the sprinting technique. Hi. Bye. A cocoon? Ah, see? We can sprint past them. Okay, let's try this again. So the main advantage to using this is apparently I can uh, do distance dash, which is very useful. Mainly, we're not in the second phase yet. Ow! Oh, 
Whoa! Nope, nope, nope. Stop firing those bloody things at me. Oh my Christ, there's a lot of poison. Louis, Louis is doing all of the damage here. I just want to point that out. Fire the thing. Oh, he fired the thing. Ow. Didn't even see that coming. Okay, let's stop dodging around like an idiot and actually try and kill this thing, shall we? Oh, I'm poisoned. I didn't know this. I did not get a plan. Ow! Christ! Okay. This thing does nuts damage. I feel horrendously underprepared, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Ah, that does a lot of damage. Oh, but I'm out of Ica, so that's not great. I missed with my final shot. Coming? Yep. There we go. That was messy as all hell. Somehow we managed it. God knows how. You awake? You? I remember you. Where's the girl? Answer me! Where did you take her? We're taking custody of the girl. That human belongs to us. We will take her back. Humans aren't property. They have the same right to live that any of us do. Don't give me that noble act. They have no rights. And why shouldn't we feed on them? We're the ones keeping them safe, after all. Why were we kicked out of our graves? Who did we die for, again and again, at the Queen's hand? We writhe with this terrible thirst. We live in fear of joining the ranks of the Lost. And for whose sake? It's all in the service of humans. If blood is the only price they have to pay, then they have a pretty good deal. That doesn't mean you can just... Do whatever you want with them. And what about the rights of revenants? Huh? It's not like we're choosing to live this way because it's such a barrel of laughs. That should be enough to get you through a month or so. Whoa, whoa. Hold on a minute. Just make sure that you and I never cross paths again. This is your one and only warning. No way. The Crimson Sword? I guess we'll be rationing for a while. Oh well. What is lost can be found again, huh? I swear I'll end it. The Revenant's suffering must end. Nah, look at the bath on the last fight. Oh my god. The rest of the missile. She must have fled deeper inside. I hope she's alright. 
Ah, it's one of the blood bead things. Blood springs. Okay, we can trace the flow of the blood beads from here. Just a sec. Give me a moment to finish this, then we can head out. Our destination is this way. This should get us there. We set? All right then. I know you're there. You appear to be holding that knife wrong, my dear. Stay back! I'm the one who decides how I live! I won't listen to you anymore! That's fine. Just put down the knife. I'm sick and tired of it! Day after day, having my blood sucked by every passing revenant! I'm not an animal! You're right. And we can help you. I know someone who can take you to one of the government shelters for humans. If you ask, we'll take you in and you'll be able to live in safety. What? You won't have to spend your days living in fear of revenants anymore. Although you will be asked to donate blood. It's... it's a trick. Do you really think I'm going to fall for that? Everything you need to know is on that paper. You're the one who decides how you live. But why? I think the time for sacrifices is over. That's all. All right, we should hurry. Revenants were the same. But I guess there are guys like you out there too, huh? Sorry. Oh. Whoops. Oh, I'm the sorry about that. Let's continue our search. Not the sort of That's a very strange elevator. I'm guessing it's another government installation. Set these up here and there. They'll help us in our business. I'm slightly concerned I'm going to be a little bit underpowered, but yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. I need to end the stream soon anyway, but I'll have a quick look, see what's here. Probably head back to base, see if we can hand in any of those vestiges somewhere. I mean, oh wow. This is badass. This place has changed completely too. Yeah. Seems like everything's changed since the Great Collapse. The only thing that stayed the same is our appearance. <sighs> Come on. We won't find the source by reminiscing. It's my fault. You say something, Looney? No. Why didn't I? Is this... Is this really my...
We're going somewhere. I don't know where, but we're going somewhere. Hey there, hey there Louie. Louis. Are your classes, classes done for the day? day? Is Cruz awake? Cruz? That's the one we met at the start. Be in a pretty good mood today, too. Go on ahead and see her. Here's your visitation pass. Thanks. The Cruz and Louie are... And then, what somehow... related? <clears throat> well, there's no cure like the obscure. <laughs> Another groaner. The experiments in the sim. So, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Could be worse. Your sister has been taking good care of me. Oh. So don't worry. I'm the only one who can do it. And I have you and the others watching over me. You can do what, I wonder? Anyway, enough about that. I want to hear more of your stories from school. Ah, back at the front desk. Is this another day? Oh, you're here early again, Louie. Is school on a break right now? Yeah, the professors are devoting all their time to research lately. How's Cruz? Well, we're having a hard time suppressing what's causing the rejection. Ordinarily, we wouldn't let you see her. I see. Thanks. I appreciate it. Is it hurt? Yeah. Why? Huh? Why does it have to be me? Is her having the parasite or something? I won't stop fighting. I won't give up. So, so, so stay with me. It's a little bit broken. Opening? Oh, is that signifying him leaving? Oh. Oh no. It's all bloody. And quite the mess. Oh, my God. Oh god. Wait, who's Karen? <laughs> Is that his sister? Uh I think Cruz might be the queen, you know. Go to Yakumo first. Still not completely sure what happened back then. All I know is that when I finally came to, I was a revenant. I heard a lot of folks died then, but that was real. A genuine memory from my past. 
from when the queen. From yeah, Cruz is the queen. <laughs> Guess I can't really hide anything from you, huh? a lot of loading screens in this game. Nobody would want to relive that. I couldn't stop Cruz from going into a frenzy. So many people lost their lives, including my sister. I wanted to forget my frailty. But... If we can find the source and ensure a stable supply of blood beads, then revenants will be freed from their thirst. Once that happens, there will no longer be any need for Silva's levy system, and humans and revenants will finally be able to live together in peace. I'm going to take responsibility for my past. I think it's the least I can do. And stop talking about it. Let's get it done. Are we ending this nightmare or what? You can't charge forward if you're always looking back. Yeah, I know. Ah, Prometheus Vestige 1. I think we should go back to the home base and see if we can actually do something with these vestiges and then I guess I'll end the stream. Because I've been going for almost three hours. It's a long time. But uh, first, let's have a look. I think we've got quite far. I mean, I died to a boss. It's a little bit upsetting. I'd like to have got, well, not died at all, but there you go. Huge hammer, a massive hammer used by the last to have been enlarged by exposure to miasma. Any minute now. The loading screen when you go back to the home base is insane. I will, I will admit this is on a standard PlayStation 4, not a Pro. The Pro is behind me, like always. I'm connected to the TV, not the streaming box. Uh, okay, so. IO makes the most sense. I assume I need to talk to everyone at some point. I mean, we have got a map to go into the depths. There you go. Giving vestiges parts found in your exploration to IO will allow you to restore deficient gifts from blood codes. It also reveals the hidden memory sealed inside the blood codes. It seems I can restore the blood code of a vestige's creator from elements left in the vestige. If you find any vestiges, please let me know. We have lots. It could be a chance to grant you additional strength. <laughs> no. Right, what have we got? Oh, I say we have lots. We have enough to do... Prometheus Vestige 1, uh, 2, and 3. Savvy Evasion and Deft Parry. A white vestment. A blood veil reminiscent of a monastic robe. While it impedes movement somewhat, it offers little defense. It greatly increases the effectiveness of support gifts. Huh. If you want to play as a cleric, you can. Where am I? back to life again. What happened back there? Cruz, everyone was... I think we're watching these in chronological order. So the one we just watched was number one. 
the state of those living in it, my feelings of guilt pierced me even deeper. Starving revenants fighting each other for a handful of blood beads, and the ranks of the lost swelling with each successive conflict. I spend my restless days in battle, trying to keep my head above water. Only when I'm engaged in the rush of combat can I close my eyes to the gravity of what I've done. Are, are you helping me? These blood beads. Those men lying over there ordered you to find them, right? Well, now you can keep them. Far too many people keep reverence as thralls these days. Stay safe. And watch yourself out there. Um, my name is Kevin. Kevin! I could give you a hand with whatever. Hunter. I'll see you. Here's what I was able to bring. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could repay you. I do this because I want to. Don't worry about me, all right? Tell me if I can help with something. I'll do whatever I can for you. Okay, let's watch the next one, see where that story goes. I do like the whole del delving into their memories to unlock the uh that was Kevin. Oh. He was a young revenant boy who I met in my travels and in the end brought to his death. He was someone that I never should have forgotten. It's hard to believe that I could let something so important just slip away. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you, but there may be other memories of mine scattered around. If there are, I'd like to get them back. I may discover things that are painful to confront, but I made a decision to face my past head on. Back then, I had no idea what would happen. As Operation Queenslayer dragged on with no foreseeable end, even children were turned into revenants and sent out to fight. And then, when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst. But with resources thin, they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. That's honestly all there was to it. It never occurred to me that my actions could lead to such tragedy. Okay, next. Oh, she's lying down. Hello. What is it? Let's repair the second vestige. Prometheus 3. Let's see where this goes. Kevin was a boy who had been enslaved by a group of merciless revenants. Over time, stopping by to give him blood beads became something of routine. But one day, a pattern was broken. When I went to see him, he was nowhere to be found, and his dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything from someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a revenant had attacked him and turned him to ash. Oh no. The attacker was after the blood beads I'd given Kevin. Oh, that was a short one. <laughs> I could 
save him just by giving him blood beads. That it would be enough. But I lacked true commitment to his survival. And in the end, that's what killed him. Uh, I don't... Hmm. What happened to the Revenant that killed him? Actually, I heard another Revenant attacked him for those same blood beads shortly after. And he became one of the lost. Oh. I won't let myself forget again. Well, you know what? This seems like a perfect place to end this, I almost said episode, stream. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.